Well, good morning there, folks. It is Monday, and you do know what that means. Welcome along to episode number three of our F1 Manager 22 career mode with Team Alpine. And it is off to Saudi Arabia at the Jeddah Kanish circuit for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I'm looking forward to this. If you did miss uh, the last episode, you know, go go check it out because uh, we had a good uh, good start to the season around Bahrain. There's the uh, championship. It stands on your bottom left. Uh, Charles Leclerc leads the way, followed by Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, Fernando P7, Esteban P11. There's uh, all the rest of the uh, scrubs back there. This ain't going to be like uh, F1 22. Everyone's going to struggle to score points, I think. Unless there's some uh, significant improvements. Now, one thing I do want to know is... Alonso is due for his contract to be renewed. Now, he is 40. He is also an extremely, extremely talented. Do we keep Alonso? I'm definitely going to be keeping Oscar Piastri as our reserve driver. But do we keep Alonso? Let me know uh, in the comments if you would keep Fernando Alonso at 40. But I think that that uh, is everything. Uh, let me just check uh, the sponsor obligations are all done. Yeah, it looks like uh, they're all done. I think they're all done. I think they get added automatically. So uh, I don't have to do uh, anything there, which is good. It's good at all. There's the uh, constructors. In fact, there's the constructors in the bottom uh, corner. We're P4. And that's where we need to be for the season. So I will uh, go get these guys practice. And we'll see if we're qualifying for the uh, Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And hopefully... We can follow up with uh, another de very decent result. All right, Radio so check. here we are then at uh, check, okay. Jeddah for uh, Q1. Green light. Practice went very well. Practice uh, for the boys went uh, went very well. I, I think uh, a lot of you are going to be asking, what, Ian, why aren't you uh, getting thinking of getting rid of Arcon? Arcon's got a long contract with the Alpine team. So it will cost a lot more to break it, whereas if Alonso left at the end of the season, it will cost us nothing. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of... Um, I am thinking of getting rid of Alonso. Al although, to be fair, keeping Alonso around for maybe another season, that would be something of interest... I don't know whether it would happen or whether it would not happen, but uh, we'd have to uh, wait and see here. But so far, uh, Alonso only three tenths behind Perez, and uh, Ocon only three tenths behind Alonso. That's uh, going very well. We'd, uh, uh, and then here comes Verstappen to ruin our hopes and dreams. <laughs> Good old Verstappen. Uh, you got to love him, haven't you? You, you, you do have to uh, to love Verstappen. The ultimate uh, try-hard. Right, what should we do here? Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking of keeping him in again. Because this strategy of keeping him in in Q1 does work. It does work. I mean, they're P4 and P6 at the moment. Leclerc and Hamilton are still to set a time. I would be interested in... I certainly think Alonso is safe. I might be interested in sending out Ocon, make sure that uh, Ocon gets through. I mean, Ocon's dropped down to P7 now. Who, who was that that just uh, set a lap? Was it Leclerc? I think it was Leclerc. Definitely would be uh, of interest to send uh, a lot. Uh, 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 he's not Alonso. He's Ocon. Or I might just keep uh, keep it as it is. No, we'll we'll send that Ocon. I'm gonna keep Alonso in, but we're just gonna send out Ocon. That's uh, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, one thing I will say for um, Australia, I'm gonna put. Piastri in the car for uh, FP1 
because uh, you do get that's how you get uh, your reserve driver experience. You put you level him up. Oh, send the Alonso out as well. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure we didn't need to. Vettel's got a penalty. That's the uh, thing next to him. And uh, there we go. P8 and P9. We were safe. The only guy to settle that yet is Magnussen, and he only moves up to P11. So I reckon we uh, we could have kept them in. So uh, all good. Okie okay, dokie okay, then, on to Q2. Uh, on to Q2. This should be uh, interesting. Now what I'm going to do for uh, Q2, I'm going to send them out to start with on an older set of tyres. Because the rules have now changed that um, you've got to, you, you can choose any tyre now for the race. Which I, I quite frankly do not agree with. Because uh, it really, uh, it really does mess up things for a race. I would, uh, I would certainly go on and and say that. Um, oh, what was I about to say before I got uh, sidetracked there? I would certainly say that uh, we'd have a chance then to make uh, Q2, a uh, free, sorry. Okay, so Alon Alonso is only a second back on older tyres. That's uh, impressive. Ocon's 1.3 back in P7. Hamilton's only gone P10. And we've still got who? Leclerc. We've still got Gasly. Yeah, we'll put uh, we'll put this uh, new set on. And hopefully they do uh, a lot better. That's the, uh, that's the uh, goal anyway. Still yet to set a time. Leclerc, Gasly, Magnussen. Um, uh, although I say that Magnussen has now set a time. And Leclerc is still to set a time yet as well. And he's going to bump Ocon onto the bubble. So we've got to get Ocon. We definitely have to send Ocon. I would uh, be worried about sending Alonso as well. And uh, there are cars leaving the pit lane. Interesting. Okay. So we'll send out Ocon. Behind this uh, massive train of cars. Which could be good because then he could uh, get a tow. And then we'll send out Alonso a little bit uh, further behind. Hoping that Alonso can get around in time. I think it's about two minutes you need for a lap. Uh, oh, he's got uh, one of the Red Bulls in front of him. That's Perez. Yeah, that's Perez. That is Sergio Perez. See, it's not... I I must say, right, I've already recorded up to Silverstone at the moment. I am digging this game. I am really digging this game. Right, what are we saying, lads? Ocon up to... Ocon stays P10, which is good. Alonso P8, brilliant. So we make it through to uh, Q3. Thank you very much. We lose uh, Joe, Magnussen, Lando, uh, and a couple of other guys that uh, I don't think you particularly care about, really, do you? All right, then. Check. The money session. It's the money session. Yeah, this is where we... Uh... Actually, let me, uh, let me go back. I just need to send a, a tweet to uh, the F1 Manager Twitter uh, page. Who's uh, they've got doing this on the uh, weekend of the Dutch Grand Prix, and they've uh, they've got a F1 Manager pit, zone, pit wall fan zone going on, saying if you're at the Dutch Grand Prix, come say hi and play F1 Manager. I just uh, send them a reply. Already am from the comfort of my own home. Oh, it's brilliant. Right then, so, well, we've sent them out on a used set again. Ocon just got past sights. Wow, Ocon only 200 slower than a lot. Ocon, Ocon's actually even faster than, uh, I do apologise, Ocon faster than uh, Alonso. Did not expect that. P6 and 7, if you had to be a P6 and 7 right now, I'd take it. I would take it, beating one of my one of the Mercs. 
that is something that uh, I would uh, definitely take. I would take a P6 and P7. <coughs> oh, you'll have to excuse me, guys. Right, we just got uh, these guys finishing up uh, here. Nothing's uh, nothing's changed, so that's uh, fine. Right, when do we send Alonzo? We'll send Ocon out now. So he's got uh, the benefit of a bit of a clean track. Because it will get uh, a bit messy on his uh, warm-up lap. And Alonzo will send him out now. Put, put a little bit of a, a gap between... Uh, between the two and hopefully they can uh, they can go from there all right what are we saying then lads Ocon started his lap Alonso started his lap and Ocon improves to P5 Alonso to P5 and then is bumped uh, down quickly that all disappeared in the blink of an eye but it's uh, P8 and 9 here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix uh, I've got to say I'm a little disappointed with that with Valtteri Bottas outperforming that Alfa Romeo, did not uh, see that coming. But I've got a feeling we got the better race car. So, uh, yeah, we'll go uh, to the race. Clear skies tonight with the drivers having now arrived at their grid positions. Looking here at Fernando Alonso. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. Further back, We've got Esteban Ocon. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. Will their hard work pay off today? We're now moments away from this, the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Indeed we are, away we go in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and Alonso already trying to make a move on uh, George Russell there. That's uh, a move I'd like him to uh, take a bit more of. Go on, get him uh, Fernando. Ocon's lost the plate. No, he has got him. That is fantastic. You can tell because the it's the other Mercedes of uh, Lewis That's Hamilton in front of him. Yes, Alonso overtook uh, George Russell game. I might have been a bit blind there, but uh, we definitely saw it. We don't, uh, we don't want to be doing that now. This race, I, I've got to say, that uh, texture there on the uh, track of uh, going down into turn, I think that's turn 13 in around that area. That does look a bit uh, stupid. Some of the track textures actually around this track do look a bit neh. So it might be, uh, might be something that uh, they need to work on there. I, I hope that... Uh, I hope that they uh, do, because definitely, definitely this game uh, is, um, I think uh, somebody was, um, okay, you can speed up. I come up, one of my uh, friends was playing it on uh, Twitter, and this is very much an addictive game, like um, like FIFA is, because I'm into my FIFA at the moment, as Hamilton looks uh, for a move on Bottas there, Bottas on the hard tyre. We have, and look at the, if you look at the uh, timing screen, we've got a great mixture of uh, tyres all throughout all the field. Available. We've got uh, some on softs, we've got some on mediums, we've got a lot on hards. Uh, looks like Lewis Hamilton is uh, holding up the line there as uh, Ocon goes for a move around the outside on George Russell. We're looking at the wrong Alpine uh, there, sir. If you uh, wouldn't mind uh, looking over at uh, Alpine number four, uh, 30, whatever it is. 31. That's uh, that's who it is. We'll just uh, speed it up uh, a skosh here for you. Ocon's still P9. P7 and P9, I would take that. But the only problem is Bottas is uh, P5. So we want to uh, we want to make a we make want to make inroads on uh, Bottas if we can. Because uh, I've got a feeling that's going to be. Uh, I was expecting it to be uh, McLaren who were going to be our main uh, competitors. But it looks like it's actually going to be uh, Alfa Romeo. Certainly after uh, 
Have to forgive me there. I had, I had a hair a on the, the uh, okay. what are we say in so uh, there we have the here. LP. This is, uh, who is that? That is, whoa, around the outside, Fernando Alonso. Get him, Frankie, baby. And they clear it. Oh, they Frankie, baby. What a move. Team have got to be ecstatic with that move. Why? Why is there? What is going on outside there? Ah, uh, I don't even know what's going on uh, outside there myself. If uh, I'm being completely honest, we are catching Valtteri Bottas, so that could be a fight. So we got uh, Alonso overtaking now. Hamilton now again. Down the front stretch. So Hamilton obviously got past going into the last corner. And, oh, I'll tell you what, watch the uh, the other LP. Oh, great move, Ocon. That's what we're talking about. If we can uh, keep this position right behind Valtteri Bottas, I reckon, I reckon we're on for some, uh, I reckon we're on some big points here today. Right, lap 11. See what, uh, see what the ball, oh, look at it. We joined this at uh, the right time, haven't we? Free wide into turn one. Oh, I tell you what. We're having, oh, yeah, I want to go on the board for uh, some of this fighting. This uh, looks like it's going to be fantastic on board with, who are we on board with? Ocon. Race position gained Hamilton's uh, overtaken Alonso. Yeah, we saw that uh, right in front of us there, game. I think because we're in the slipstream of Hamilton and we're so quick as well. We don't need, we can push the uh, the fuel and we can still save the fuel. That might be uh, somewhat useful when it comes to Monza later down uh, down the road. That's, that, I, I hope that uh, is a thing, but uh, look, just, I tell you what, right? This is where Ian has only we'll nice thing to say available. about Frontier we'll Games because Frontier has a uh, oh actually I'll hold that for a second because Alonso's thinking about a move on Hamilton uh, again press and hold overtake now please press and hold overtake now Ocon's Copy engineer up. wants uh, overtake if if I was honest I'd want Ocon to sort of hang back here because uh, I've got a feeling oh he's gonna go for a move down the inside of his teammate here that's uh, that's not what I, mind you we have no team orders here at Alpine so you're uh, you're free to race as much as you want. So Ocon has got past Alonso there. So move Ocon to P uh, P5, and now he's going to go for a move on Hamilton down into the first corner. Excellent work there for Esteban Ocon and Fernando as well. Both Alpines up uh, past Lewis sure. Hamilton. So what are we now P5 and P. Where's uh, where's Bottas gone? Bottas is down in P14. If I remember rightly, Bottas was actually on uh, hard tyres. How did he end up down P14? Mercedes moved Got up uh, Hamilton's over, back uh, overtaking Alonso again. Oh, this this is great racing. It, this is what we uh, we wanted. Okay, I I expected us to be fighting sort of around Guan Yu Zhou, but we're fighting legitimately. The Mercedes team here. I don't want to tempt fate, but is it too early to uh, say Alpine in the season after two well. rounds we could probably finish P3? Then. So we, who we got now here? We got. Uh, Here's Alonso's I think car. that's is that Frankie Baby? I wasn't paying uh, attention there. I think that is Frankie Baby passing. Uh, he may go for the and double the overtake here they as uh, and a race the other Mercedes game. is being attacked by the other Mercedes. I think it's safe ah, to say the, that the boys are doing well. well the the boys are doing well. All right, lap 17. Hamilton's overtaken Alonso again. Let's take a closer look. I think now, we're going to see lots of this throughout here. this race. Hamilton overtaking Alonso. Hamilton overtaking Ocon. Ocon overtaking. This is going to be our fight for the rest of the race. Moving up <coughs> there. Excellent this work this work. right here is going to be our fight with Mercedes. The team are really I reckon a really, really decent finish is uh, on the cars. Don't worry, lads. Don't worry. Okay, it's a uh, pit stop time here for uh, Alonso. So we're going to switch him onto the hard tyres. This is probably the optimal lap uh, for pit stops here. So the Mercedes have already made their stops. Well, one has anyway. Boxes. Boxes <coughs> 
that Claire is in. Tell you what, a safety car wouldn't okay, go uh, down too badly right now. Okay, we'd uh, dick over one of them, but uh, right, Alonso's in. And he comes out right behind Lewis Hamilton. And Valtteri Bottas. Off, Russell's overtaken off gone. Now let's let's, have a look, at, uh, let's have a look at that. Oh, yes, yeah, standard down into... Oh, we got uh, a fight between the Red Bull and the Ferrari behind. And that would be a... Uh, for the de facto race lead, I do believe. There they go. Moving ahead of That's the okay. We, we kept Ock on that one extra lap, so uh, we'll the bring him in this lap. And uh, hopefully what happened out get him out around Alonso. Okay, it's, uh, it's time for Ock on the uh, pit stop. In you come. So we're going to try getting in around about Hamilton Alonso. Hard tyres going on. Good work, lads. Good work. 2.7. Not bad. Not bad. There goes the McLaren and Alpha Tauri. Where it, there's Hamilton and Alonso. And Ocon's going to fit in right behind them. Perfect. Perfect. And Russell is still yet to stop as well. That would be the one to uh, to keep an eye on if uh, R George Russell doesn't. Because Russell was ahead of Ocon. And Ocon has just cruised up to the back of Alonso here. No uh, no problems. I think we can uh, jump Russell in the uh, in the pit stops coming up. Okay, so where is uh, Alonso's overtaken Hamilton? Brilliant. Good replay. move, good move. Now watch this. Oh, Here's nicely Alonso's into the last corner. I think if he uh, stays there, he might get Bottas. Go on, Frankie, get Bottas too. Go on, Frankie. Get past. Which moves them up That's the what we're talking about. Double overtake. This guy looks there, impressed, but at the same time, uh, doesn't really want to be impressed, does he? Just okay, Alonso has Let's overtaken Norris. Here's Alonso's so we're, we're catching Norris and Gasly here. Oh, that's... Uh, in fact, uh, Gasly, I think, has made his pit stop. Getting Russell still hasn't uh, made his stop yet. That's so uh, rather worrying. What Mercedes thinking about uh, with George Russell Back here? Okay, so we're going to go neutral ERS here. We're on lap 31. Alonso's overtaken now. Hamilton again. Now watch this. Here's Alonso's car. Yeah, the more that we... I would say if we get Lina Stern, we'll be able to pull away and maybe be able to drop George Russell. Big move for them and a race position In fact, we may already have dropped uh, George Russell. I need to uh, see the leaderboard. He looks uh, happy that. to be here, doesn't he, uh, folks? He, he looks uh, very happy to be here. Russell uh, has still not made his stop yet. He's in P5. <coughs> that would Let's be... That would okay, be quite concerning so for me as uh, we've got the Alpine passing uh, the Mercedes again. We seem to be... It, this seems to be our, our fight this uh, this weekend. They get past. Which moves this seems to be our position? fight and we've lost the other Alpine. Where's, where's the other Alpine gone? The team are clearly Hello, delighted. where's he gone? Oh, I see what's happened. We, we, these two have dropped Doc on. All right, okay, fair enough. So Russell's in the pits. Russell's in the pits. Why is uh, why have they dropped Doc on? That's uh, that's what. Hey, there's Doc on in the uh, background. There comes George. So now it's going to be, oh, Alonso just comes out in front of George Russell. I think uh, he got a bit of a helping hand there. That would be uh, my concern right now. Let me, just, uh, let me just get that. It's now two Mercedes against one Alpine. That's, that's my concern here. Ocon chilling in P8. Well, to be fair, it is a lonely... While it is a lonely P8, I would say it's a pretty confident P8. I'd go on record and say it's a confident P8. Overtake is available. This, I think, we can, we can get a P5 okay. here today. I, I, I truly do believe... As uh, Alonso's chilling at the back of uh, Lewis Hamilton here, we we can get a. Uh, I wouldn't have done this move. Alonso around the outside. That's what you're talking about. I I do believe P5 is on the cards for us today. 
Perez though is in. Oh hello, we got uh, we got Perez in. Is he on the two stop? Yep, yeah, we saw that overtake there game. Thank you very much. Alonso overtaking Hamilton. I've got a feeling that Alonso uh, yeah, is about to be overtaken by Hamilton down uh, the front straight here. Let's just stay with this. Alonso defending to the inside. Hamilton going around the outside. Oh, well, that was uh, pretty standard. Yeah. We're at that 35. That's a good Alonso now back into P5. Let's take a that, that's look. what you uh, love to see. Yep. Give, it, give him back uh, some of his own medicine. Give him his own medicine down into the first corner. That's how it's done. That's what you get. A bold move indeed. <coughs> with that that is indeed what you get. He, he looks impressed. Even that, he was about to take a giant, you know what? <laughs> I think he was uh, more than impressed with uh, with that one. Now he's down to P6 again. <coughs> Archon doesn't seem to be cruising Mercedes. up to the back Let's of George here. Now, just watch the Mercedes That's, uh, That for me is a bit worrying. If Ocon can get to George Russell, I think that would uh, that would there be half go. the battle won there. The I do truly believe that that, uh, yeah. Don't run to the wall, guys. We're all right. We're all right for now. All right, that 40. We've got uh, 10 to go. Alonso's now found himself in front of Hamilton. The only problem is I've got a feeling that uh, down the front straight we'll set to ERS to defend. <clears throat> Although that might be too late. Yeah, that was, that was uh, too late there. I really could do with Ocon cruising up to the back of George Russell if you wouldn't mind. Esteban, could you uh, get a move on there, there please? All right, lap 43. Just Alonso back Let's into P5. Now watch That's, this. There this you go. G give it him back there, uh, superstar. That is what we're talking about. <coughs> if we can... Uh, my phone just game. went off there. I don't know why. <laughs> I'll, uh, back in the garage. I'll have a, a look as to why my phone it. just went off then, shall we? All right, lap uh, 45. There was a yellow flag uh, out then. I got a feeling that was a, a Facebook notification. Hamilton overtakes Alonso. We just uh, saw that their game. Let's see what happens. Let's see what uh, right, happens here. This. It's uh, one of the Haas cars. And oh, hello. One of the uh, one of the Haas cars. Uh, and that was a bitter blow for the team. Getting it all wrong it at the uh, bottom hairpin. And uh, there's a uh, there's Alonso. No, Ocon's now uh, P8. We're, we're actually looking at uh, Ocon here. I don't know what's gone on with Ocon, but uh, I need him to uh, kind of get a move on. That would be, you know, that that would be nice there uh, if you don't mind, Esteban. I'd like you to get a move on. Meanwhile, uh, up at this uh, all-out war between. Uh, Hamilton and Alonso for P5. It, it's such a... It's such a uh, good thing to uh, to happen, isn't it? So nice. Head down uh, the front straight. And... Go on. Go on. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Not quite there, Fernando. We'll get him next time, though. We'll get him next time. All right, on to lap uh, 48. It's all looking for... No, no! Oh, no! No. Oh, nah. What happened here? Oh, he's hit the barrier. Oh, that's a rookie mistake. Ah, Lonzo. Team are really oh, that. does that mean now we've got to keep all our eggs on uh, Esteban Ocon here to finish P7? Yeah. Uh, uh, right. Uh, okay. Come in, Frankie, baby. Come in. Come in, buddy. 
Oh, that, oh we had P6 right there, and oh, I tell you what, we'll. Uh, what can we put him on? It's only going to be for a couple of laps, so I reckon we can put him on uh, this set of hard, uh, soft tyres. Perhaps try go for a fastest lap. Yeah, I think we'll we'll try go for a, a fastest lap with uh, with Alonso. See what uh, see what we can do. <clears throat> ah, but that's so disappointing. So Ocon, time to get a move on. All right, it's time uh, coming up. Uh, Ocon, two laps remaining. Alonso's in the pits. Here's Alonso now. So copy. Where's he going to come out around? Okay, copy that. There is a gap between Gasly and Joe. I'm wondering if he'll come out in that gap. Just replace the rear, rear uh, no, 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 the front wing. Uh, he may still score a point today for Lando Alonso. We'd definitely still be scoring more than the, Al the uh, Alfa Romeo team because Bottas is uh, P8. But uh, it's a case of what could have been today. What uh, what could have been? Sainz has taken the uh, the last lap of the Grand Prix. Uh, right. Frankie, full push. We'll go for a uh, fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Chassis uh, taken a little bit of damage. So actually, I might want to avoid the curves with Alonso. All right. Uh... No competitor has won, so it looks like Carlos Sainz. Yeah, Carlos Sainz is going to win the uh, the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So Leclerc won Bahrain. Sainz won Saudi Arabia. Can we all see where, which way this is going now? Can we all see uh, which way this is going? That's Carlos Sainz's first uh, ever victory, folks. Fair play to uh, to Carlos uh, there. He was uh, he's a good good race for him. Meanwhile, as unlikely as it is, it looks like Ocon is going to be uh, our talisman. Uh, <laughs> it should have been a P6 and a P8. Russell, I've just seen, has overtaken Hamilton on uh, somewhere. So it actually could have been a P5 maybe uh, and a P8, but uh, it's going to be a P7 and a P10. So to say I'm somewhat uh, disappointed is... Uh, yeah, understatement, but uh, Ocon brings it home, uh, and that's uh, that's good. That's P7 for Ocon. Good job, good job, good job uh, there, Ocon. And uh, we'll just check in on Alonso. He's coming. Uh, he's coming home for a battle in P10. Fantastic. It, it's a case of what could have been there, Frankie. If uh, you're going to be disappointed on the radio, we absolutely understand. But uh, unfortunately, there that was uh, that was kind of your error. <coughs> You've got to uh, you got to hold your hands yeah, up and, on that one. With the strategy, with the start. That was uh, that was your error there. No, nope. Hamilton wasn't oh, close to you, so I don't know what uh, what you wanted to do there. That uh, that was uh, all on you, unfortunately. It's all on it's you. I shouldn't really rub it. Uh, this wasn't bad I shouldn't all, really rub it into the poor guy, should I? But is, uh, you know, I did. How can they make it better next Sorry. Time? They've displayed some moments of quality. P7 and P10, though. Now is some fine to it's it's things. more points over the Alfa Romeo team. Result, the team is fourth, that's the what. Uh, that's what we take from it as uh, we head to. I think it's Australia. In the uh, in the next episode. So, Carlos Sainz with the win, followed by uh, Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez, Max Verstappen, George Russell, Lewis Hamilton, Esteban Ocon bringing home uh, a P7. Good uh, good work there, Esteban. Valtteri Bottas, P8. Pierre Gasly and Fernando Alonso. It, it's a case, really, of what could have been for Fernando. Uh, it could have been much better. But it, it wasn't. And uh, we have to live with that. Nicholas Latifi finishing last, doing Nicholas Latifi things. 
in the drivers. Charles Leclerc still leads from uh, Carlos Sainz, but it's only uh, by a point. That fastest lap in Bahrain helps you out there, doesn't it, Charles? And in the constructors, well, we're still P4. That's the goal. That's always been the goal, P4. P4, if we can get P4 at the end of this season, take that as a win. Reserve driver, yeah, we'll, we'll because it is his home Grand Prix next uh, next round, we will be putting Piastri into that. Uh, I think we'll put him in Alonso seat. We'll we'll sort of rotate it so one uh, one round he can be in Alonso seat, the next Ocon seat, and Alonso Ocon, Alonso Ocon, etc. etc. Four and a half million in. Uh, I'll tell you what, the sponsors are really coming through for us recently. That that's uh, that's something I uh, I do like. I like that uh, the sponsors are, are coming through. But uh, yeah, we are going to call it an episode there. So thank you all for watching. I hope uh, you did enjoy. Case of what could have been. It's a case of what uh, could have been. Patrick Stafford is saying that we're exceeding expectations. I would say we're we're actually um, not exceeding ex expectations there, Patrick. It was a fantastic race. There's the the race report there. I, I am loving this game after only two races. And uh, I hope you're all uh, loving this game as well. Because uh, you're really seeing inside uh, my mind how uh, in-depth it goes. Anyway, back tomorrow with, I think, is it NASCAR tomorrow? Let me just uh, double check that. Uh, yeah, it's NASCAR tomorrow. So stay safe, be kind to each other. We'll see you on Thursday for the next F1 Manager. We'll see you tomorrow for NASCAR Heat 5, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching.